Welcome everyone to the closeout session. Before I go to the results, uh, let me mention that uh, we uh, should have the uh, final reports ready and joined to the existing uh, PAC report document. Um, most likely uh, in one, two weeks from now, we will uh, make every effort uh, to do that in a timely way. Here is the table of results, and I will walk you through them uh, going uh, from top uh, to bottom, which is not uh, the order in which they were discussed today. Um, so uh, for the uh, Gluex 2 and Data Factory, uh, we recommend to maintain the status. Uh, maintain status uh, in all cases means uh, the beam time allocation and uh, the uh, scientific grading uh, we recommend uh, to uh, keep them as they are. In uh, case of Gluex uh, 2, we were is, uh, especially um, uh, pleased uh, to see uh, the um, uh, developments in uh, the theory and in the collaboration between uh, theory and experiment regarding uh, the uh, analysis of data. Let me uh, move on uh, to the next, uh, that is uh, the uh, measurement of the pion polarizability in Hall D. Also here, uh, we recommend uh, to main the status. Um, we uh, did appreciate very much the presentation and document and uh, are convinced that this uh, experiment is now in a very good shape. And we are looking forward uh, one day to see its results. Run group A, uh, also here. Uh, the committee recommends to maintain uh, the status. Uh, one important point uh, was uh, for us uh, that um, the uh, high statistics that's anticipated uh, for the full run uh, will uh, put very stringent uh, requirements on analyzing the systematic errors. It uh, would have been nice to see a little bit more about this in this Jeopardy update. And that is a general comment uh, that concerns uh, actually many of the uh, updates we have seen. Uh, so we uh, do encourage for next rounds of uh, the Jeopardy, uh, the experiments uh, to really show as much as possible at that point in time, uh, the anticipated uh, uh, systematic errors uh, for their planned measurements. Going uh, to run group B, uh, also here, we recommend that the status be maintained. Uh, the uh, flagship, if I dare say, of that uh, run group uh, is uh, still the DVCS measurement uh, on the neutron. And uh, although, uh, as has been discussed many times at this uh, PSC, also in August, the theory interpretation of uh, CITES data is more complicated uh, the uh, overall importance of this run group uh, is very high and remains so. We now come to run group C. Uh, here, uh, we uh, approve uh, the uh, runtime for, or we recommend a runtime of 120 days. Uh, that is less uh, than uh, was requested. Um, the rationale is here that we are uh, very firmly convinced uh, of the uh, case for DVCS. Uh, but for measurements uh, that aim to extract uh, parton distributions, uh, the committee would really like to see an updated uh, study of their impact in a global landscape. And that uh, global landscape does include experiments that have run and produced data since uh, the uh, experiment uh, was uh, originally approved. So that is the reason uh, for this uh, return to the PAC uh, that concerns an impact study and update uh, for uh, the uh, determination of PDFs. Uh, the run group D, uh, color transparency uh, experiment, uh, we decided to approve this for uh, 30 days. Uh, that is, again, less uh, than the full request. Um, the com we, we had difficult discussions on this experiment. Uh, the theory has unfortunately not been very active uh, for uh, quite a long time. And uh, what also was difficult for the committee uh, to assess was whether experimental uncertainties uh, and systematics uh, on which we didn't have really a good feeling at all uh, will allow uh, 
the experiment to have a strong enough physics impact. Now, we do think that with uh, 30 days out of uh, the uh, requested 60, it must be possible to produce physically uh, meaningful data. Uh, and once that is done, uh, the experiment is, of course, free uh, to uh, resubmit a proposal asking for more beam time. But that should be based on the results uh, of such an initial uh, running uh, campaign. Uh, coming to run group E uh, on quark propagation, um, we uh, do recommend to uh, maintain the status uh, beam time allocation and uh, scientific grading. Uh, there is, uh, if you uh, will see the, first, the, the final report, uh, we uh, do uh, think uh, that uh, the planned measurement is not as an easy one. And again, systematics will be a serious issue. Uh, so uh, the uh, committee would very much like to see a publication of the six GEV data as a proof of principle uh, of such measurements uh, in not the uh, same, but a very uh, similar setting. Um, the run group G, the, uh, that aims at measuring the EM uh, EMC effect in nuclei, here we have decided uh, to uh, uh, give a new grading A minus instead of B plus. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, uh, since the original uh, proposal uh, was uh, improved, uh, there has been important theory developments. Uh, and along with these, uh, uh, there's also now a sense that what could be done uh, in trying to elucidate uh, the uh, effect with unpolarized data really has been done. And with unpolarized data alone, uh, I think it's fair to say that the effect uh, hasn't been uh, explained in an unambiguous way. So the hope is really that uh, adding spin here uh, will lead to a breakthrough. We are aware that there is no guarantee for that, uh, but we see a very high potential, and that is the reason for the update. Coming uh, to run group H on uh, experiments with uh, transverse uh, polarized uh, target. Again, here we recommend maintaining the status uh, of the experiment. Uh, the committee is very aware that um, the uh, target and its successful performance is uh, absolute key uh, for running this. Uh, and we uh, are aware of the difficulties. We hope very much uh, that uh, the technical developments uh, will uh, find a good uh, end and uh, that uh, the uh, performance of the experiment will then uh, be uh, possible to reach. Uh, the heavy photon search, uh, despite uh, upcoming uh, competition from other experiments, especially from LHCB uh, during uh, run three, uh, the committee felt uh, that the physics case for this uh, search is still very strong at Jefferson Lab, and we therefore uh, recommend to maintain the status uh, and endorse the running plan uh, that the experiment has presented uh, uh, in today's open session. Uh, lastly, uh, run group K. Uh, also here, we uh, do maintain the status. Um, the uh, measurement uh, of uh, DVCS especially and uh, combination of DVCS at different energies uh, will be a challenge uh, in terms of uh, uh, controlling uh, the uh, environmental uncertainties, uh, because one is looking for small effects here. And uh, the name of the game for DVCS studies is really precision. So uh, we do encourage the experiment uh, to make every effort uh, to control systematics in the measurement. We would have been happy to see a bit more on that again in the uh, Jeopardy update. Uh, and uh, I think in coming years with Jeopardy, uh, we will be a little bit uh, more strict on uh, this issue. That uh, terminates uh, the uh, discussion of the results. As I said, uh, the full report should be out, hopefully, uh, within two weeks from now. So uh, what I would like to uh, end with is, again, uh, to thank a number of people, the spokespersons and the collaborations for the effort that they have put into their 
um, reports. I mentioned a few critical points, uh, but we have also uh, been pleased to see uh, many preliminary uh, data uh, and to see the progress that has been made, and that is very good. So I think one can really say that our overall impression was positive. Um, I would like to thank all my uh, PAC uh, colleagues, reviewers, and uh, Kent Paschke again for the hard work they put into this and for their stamina, especially uh, during today's uh, long and uh, sometimes difficult uh, session and discussion. Thanks uh, to the lab management, especially to Bob, Rolf, and Patricia. Uh, they uh, were always there to give us uh, important advice and background information, and that is essential really for us to perform our review. And thanks once more uh, for the uh, theorists that have written uh, and contributed uh, to the uh, TAC theory reports uh, that were also produced for the uh, experiments in Jeopardy. Finally, thanks uh, for the three uh, heroes that have uh, kept us going in these uh, technically challenging uh, uh, times, uh, and especially again today, uh, they've done a lot of work in the background, and without them, we would have certainly not uh, been able to function. So. Um, that concludes uh, my part of the closeout. I very much hope uh, that next year uh, uh, at the PAC we will be able to meet in person again, and I look very much forward to that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcus, and uh, let me add my thanks to the committee and uh, to all of the uh, presenters and collaborators who prepared the material. It was very informative, um, really going to help us um, executing the uh, program going forward. Um, and also, again, I, I'd also like to personally thank Lorelei, Susan, and Pat. Uh, everyone else, have a good weekend, and we'll try to get the report out as soon as possible. I think Susan can post uh, the um, table that um, Marcus showed uh, for uh, for the users, and uh, we can get that up uh, pretty soon. All right. Thanks very much again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks, Rob. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye.